All right, check out the latest edition of La Prensa Latina. That is the cover right there. It is out on newsstands right now. And uh, it is the largest bilingual newspaper across Memphis and the Mid-South. That article there, federal judge blocks title 42. And joining me now to talk about that story and others is Jairo Aguirre. He is with La Prensa Latina right now. Uh, Jairo, it's been a while. How are you, man? I've uh, been good. I've been good. I know it's been a while. You know, I, I hate that it's under the circumstances that Vivian's out today, but always a pleasure to see you. Hey, you're looking sharp. I, I appreciate you dressing up for the uh, digital desk this morning. You're looking good, uh, man. I uh, appreciate it. Vivian will get on to me if, you know, if, it didn't, if I didn't make it, <laughs> this look good. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, so uh, let's talk about the cover right there, the cover story yeah. you got. Uh, it, it talks about uh, Title 42. Tell me more. Yeah, I know Title, uh, Title 42, I know it's been controversial, and uh, lifting it could really mean uh, a lot of things for a lot of Im uh, immigrants coming to the border. I uh, know that uh, you know the protection of the immigrants is very important, and I know that there's even talk about how a lot of people that cross people across the border uh, might take advantage of the situation to lie to the immigrants that is going to be fine. Title 42, uh, which uh, has been in place since the pandemic, has allowed people to continue to try to cross and cross and cross over and over again, which some people say that that even uh, raised uh, more immigrants coming to the, to the U.S., but under this new title, which uh, is, I think it's going to be lift. It's, it takes about five weeks for this to take effect, but it's going to be a tough ruling. And um, I'm just here with uh, open ears trying to see what comes out of it. All righty. Um, uh, listen, let's talk about something else that uh, is closer here to the Mid-South when it comes to the holiday season and yeah. Starry Nights. It is upon us, Hiro. Yeah, so with Starry Nights, it's always, it's always great to, uh, to see Starry Nights and Shelby Farms all in the evolution that Shelby Farms has had. And I'm excited to see it this year. Uh, hopefully it's not really, really cold where we can uh, take it through with one of the carriage uh, rides, as you see here in the images. But it's always nice to take the family, to take uh, everyone and enjoy this holiday season, enjoy at Shelby Farm Starry Night. So pretty exciting. It always is, and, and it is uh, yes. such a tradition for so many families uh, across the Mid-South to go yeah, check make out sure Shelby Yeah, if you go Farms. out there, make sure you bring a blanket in case it's too cold. Yeah, exactly. I think it opens uh, one week from today, I believe, uh, November 25th. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let, let's talk a little bit about uh, this. We we actually talked this uh, talked about this on the digital desk uh, earlier this week, Hiro. It is the new multicultural advisory board in the city of Memphis. Uh, tell me about the article uh, in La Prensa Latina about this. Yeah, you might have had. Uh, I think uh, is Queen from uh, the city that she uh, been having a lot of conversations with her and uh, was honored to actually uh, be nom to be part of the board as well. But the Multicultural Advisory Board was put in place to basically unite all of the community to make sure that we continue to uh, showcase how beautiful Memphis is and how, uh, you know, just the, all the opportunities, how tolerant the city of Memphis is, and uh, to make sure that all the communities are working together under, you know, just, just in general. So I'm pretty excited as there's uh, a lot of future for this advisory board and a lot of great news to come from it. This is just the latest uh, issue of La Prensa Latina, the largest bilingual newspaper in the Memphis and Mid-South area. Just some of the articles uh, highlighted by Jairo. Um, anything else you yeah. want to say before we let you go? No, no, appreciate the uh, invite, Andrew. And, uh, you know, always make sure at La Prensa Latina, you can always go to laprinsalatina.com, uh, uh, pick up. We have over 250 distribution points here in the Mid-South, including the Memphis Public Library, different farmer's markets, uh, Hispanic retail stores, and also follow us on social media at La Prensa Latina Media. All right, uh, Jairo Aguido, La Prensa Latina, we appreciate you and your staff each and every week. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.